I'm so excited to be here at the Microsoft Startup Showcase. Hi, Vijay. Hi. What does your company do? SysCloud is a machine learning analytics platform which helps keep students safe online. I have a question for you. If your company were an animal, what animal would that be? I would pick an eagle because an eagle flies high and it watches over everything and keeps things safe. Hi everyone, I am Vijay Krishnas, founder and CEO of SysCloud. SysCloud is a machine analytics platform to help keep students safe online. Students are constantly under attack, whether it is cyberbullying, self-harm, objectionable content, you know, radicalization, hate, you know, phishing attacks, privacy violations, to name a few. The alarming thing is about 48% of K-12 students between age 11 to 17 have had some thought of self-harm. Even more alarming, right, as a parent, is that students don't seek help, right? If they're bullied at school or something's going wrong, they hold it everything within themselves. And every time there is a major incident, you know, there is a lot of debate, there is a lot of blame game, you know, going on, but Again, you know, there is a lull and there is one more incident. How do we help? Right? We are all engineers here. What are the solutions that technology can use to help K-12 students? The current data loss prevention technologies, which is based on search strings, right? Let's say you search for hate or, you know, suicide or, you know, violence or bomb, right? I mean, you get too many false positives. Why is that, right? It could be a novel. It could be a presentation. It could be a drama, right? So there'll be thousands and thousands of false positives. So the current solutions are not providing a true, high, true rate of true positives. There are too many false positives. A SysCloud solution takes a look at mails, uh, drive documents, chats, you know, browser habits, you know, time of login, a variety of factors, and builds machine learning models for every threat. I'll just give you a simple example. Let's take uh, self-harm. When I looked at you know, hundreds of self-harm or real suicide letters, uh, all, there was one pattern which I merged, one key feature. That is, they always spoke about themselves, right? I or myself, that was a key feature. And then if you look at the false positive, like uh, a book or a presentation, it has a table of contents, right? So you start building a, a really good machine learning model, and very soon you'll be able to predict accurately who, which student needs help immediately, and which is a false positive. That's just one example of one threat. So we've developed machine learning models for all the uh, threats. How does it work? Uh, the application is listed in AppSource. Uh, the school installs our application, and it has access to all the mail, the drive documents, chats, and it uses that information in real time to provide alerts if there is any student at risk for a variety of reasons. It could be self-harm, bullying, you know, violence, it could be anything. This is a screenshot from the application. It lists all the threats as cards, and you can expand each card, go into who is at high risk, find out the context, and help the student, their family, along with the principal and the counselor. The results using machine learning have been amazing. Right? About 98% true positive. Currently, we monitor about 2,000 plus schools, about 2 million students, about 10 billion items, whether it's mail, documents, chats, are monitored actively in real time. And when there is an incident, the school staff is alerted immediately. We generate about 240 plus you know, life-threatening alerts every day, right? So where students are helped, their families are helped, along with the school staff. While this is good, the, the sad part is that, you know, there are thousands of other students who are not being helped because we are, we are there right now only in 2,000 schools, whereas there are about 100,000 schools just in North America. But that's why it's important, you know, that's why I came here to, to work with Microsoft to see how we can, you know, help more, more schools, more students, and cover roughly about 100 million students uh, just in North America. Currently, we're in about 2,000 schools. 
Our technology runs on Azure. It uses .NET and all the Microsoft technologies. If you have any ideas or you know, thoughts, feedback, please meet me backstage. Thank you very much. Thank you.